What is up, YouTube? It is, it is me, Tom, from the Epic Collective, and this is going to be uh, a different sort of match. Uh, this is me here. Uh, I'm playing Graves in this 3v3 match. Uh, now, in this match, both of my teammates do go AFK for the first bit. Uh, Ramos connects next, and then uh, Poppy comes in for the end of it. And uh, we managed to win the game. Uh, very much thanks to me. I end up going like 30 and 10. And I get, like, first blood with a double kill. I, I, I do very well in this game. Now, uh, as you can see, they still haven't moved. That's because they DC'd. They're just not here. And it's definitely a shame. Uh, Caitlyn, for whatever, didn't buy any items. I didn't know that. Now, this is actually the first time I'm seeing everyone's items uh, outside of the game. I played it uh, an hour or two ago. Uh, but in any case, uh, this was my third or fourth time playing Graves, and I'm just going to change this to manual. Uh, I, I think it's certainly, uh, oh, Graves is certainly a very good character, I like him. I do wish he had a longer range, though, but otherwise, it, he's, he's, he's a very good AD carry, and that's what I've been playing a lot recently. Uh, I've also been playing Rengar, but I haven't been doing very well with him, and I don't like him as much as I used to. And part because I haven't been doing well. Uh, here, I should have just stepped right, uh, a bit outside the barrier. One of Gnosis's abilities. I don't know which one. I, I believe it was... Okay, it must be his E. That does that. Now, I do have a Dorn's Blade, and so I'm not going to be healing up very quickly, uh, because it takes auto attacks to heal. And even then, it's only like five. Yeah, it's five times for hit. Uh, there you can see. Well, hmm. oh, okay, that's neat. I, I didn't know I could do that. Uh, but there you see, I pick up the first blood. It's pretty nice. Uh, sorry if you didn't see it, I was screwing around with this. I don't know why you'd want to see it from here. Oh my, look! A tree blocking my view. And this is just kind of obnoxious. I can see why you'd play that like that. But in a professional setting. Uh, there you can see me using my heal. Uh, just so I can become a bit more aggressive. Uh, she, uh, she was stupid enough to engage me under the turret. Uh, she was probably hoping for my ki death. Uh, well, of course she was. Uh, but I escaped with like 16 life left, and that was very fun. Evelyn is a top farming though. She's on. She's at level two, which is a, uh, not optimal for her uh, because I killed her early on. Uh, here you can see her almost retreating from the minions. Evelyn continuing to farm, and myself setting up a gank. Still having no death yet and two kills. So I'm significantly more fed than everyone else, although I haven't actually bought any items. Uh, I try and get one last auto attack off of off on Evelyn, but it didn't work out. Uh, and you can see me trying to kite the minions as they run away from what I'm assuming will be a counter gank. Uh, here they go and capture my altar. I can't do anything about it because there's only one of me, and my strategy here was divide and conquer. So I'll you know, get some attacks off on uh, one of the champions, or and then I'll run away. Uh, I should have uh, gone away here, but I didn't really think about it, and so I used my flash. Just to be safe, not wanting to risk it. Nasus is working down on the tower here, and I'm going back. If I were Caitlyn or Evelyn, I would have just gone up and put a bit of pressure on me while my partner farmed. But that is just me. Uh, Nasus continuing to take out this tower. Uh, he, he will have to retreat soon as the next creep wave is until here. So. Yep, there we go. And I'm putting pressure back. Uh, this time I did, I got the Boots of Mobility. Which I certainly like, and uh, if you're wondering why I did that, it's so I didn't run into it later when I had less health. Now you can see me go to gank Nasus. Uh, 
And Nasus is uh, a bit of a pain because he has a rather significant amount of health compared to me. Yet he did stop to try and kill me and then turned back around. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, that, that I do remember having to trade with him. But I, I'm not entirely sure why he ran and then turned around. It was certainly odd to, to me at least because it literally just sacrificed damage and he shouldn't have done that. He sh either should have kept running because I believe his attack, his movement speed is faster than mine. 375. Yeah, I have to click up here versus... F okay, no, I'm faster than him so I would have killed him. So he did actually make the right decision there. Uh, here you can see me just using my abilities, taking out Caitlyn. I, I did a nice dodge there of the trap. And now because she's gone, I take the trap out. Because I still have tons of health. So it is 3 and 1. I'm doing very well considering the fact that I have no allies and they have 3 people. But they've also been doing a very bad job of attacking me. Let's see, did Nasus... Okay, so now Nasus is up to 423 movement speed. Versus my 375. So he bought the boots of swiftness. Uh, no, al Alarcity. Uh, oh, not Alarcity. Not, not the boots of Alarcity, but rather... And I'm terribly sorry about all this uh, mispronunciation. And uh, getting the orders wrong. But he got the boots of witness with the Alarcity uh, enchantment. Uh, now they are going to be making a push down here, uh, just working out on on the, on the tower. Uh, being really stupid and taking hits from the tower, uh, I'm not entirely sure why they were doing that. Evelyn later in the game does die from a tower, and that I think is uh, a little bit odd. But the fact that they haven't killed me yet is a bit odd considering the fact that they could literally just all group up and push down on one side even at level one and kill me and i wouldn't be able to do anything because even with the turret i might be able to take out one of them before i died perhaps one and a half if i got lucky uh, and so this was very poor decision making on their part now evelyn is recalling uh, she had somewhat low health but i really wouldn't be worrying about that too much because with proper communication she'd be able to literally stay out of my reach all day because I can only go around in the jungle so much and there she would have been 2v1 uh, but uh, I that time I believe was actually on accident when I walked into the yordle snap trap but uh, in general I did a pretty good job of avoiding them uh, and picking up kills I do have to sacrifice these turrets, but it is not the biggest deal, because eventually my fr uh, my friend Ramos will reconnect, a uh, hot and sour. Uh, he was actually very helpful later in the game. Oh, here he is. And then I do a bit of talking to him and whatnot. And we become pretty good friends, I added him. I, I didn't stay on long enough to see if he added me back. I hope he did. Uh, now you see Caitlyn pushing up on bottom. Evelyn recalling again. I'm not entirely sure why. Well, I go up top to engage Nasus. And you can see I used my E ability to zoom back. I used my heal. And I took out Nasus. Uh, so I'm 5 and 1. The only person who has a kill on me is Nasus. He's 1 and 2. Uh, Caitlyn's 0 and 2, and Evelyn's 0 and 1. Nasus just bought a Stinger and a Longsword, so I'm not entirely sure what he's building. Uh, and uh, Ramos actually commented on this later, but I guess he wanted to be a fast moving, quick, fast attacking tank. But why he would want to be that as Nasus, I'm not entirely sure. Well, in any case, uh, Hot and Sour does die there from the Caitlyn ultimate. Even though if I were Caitlyn, I would have just run right there and saved my ultimate uh, to take myself out uh, being Graves. Uh, Hot and Sour does disconnect, but he dis but he reconnects very shortly. Uh, here you can see me once again forcing an engagement, 
and I do manage to take out Nossus, and I'm... Nossus uh, wasn't the best of engagers. Oh, do I manage to take out Nossus? I'm unsure at this point. Uh, I do kill Nossus quite a bit, though. Evelyn, uh, taking out the race. And then Nossus should be about to recall. Oh, no, he's actually engaging the Olems. Okay. Uh, Caitlin just pushing top while I... I believe I recalled. Yes, I recalled, and then I went to buy items. Uh, if you're wondering why I move there to buy stuff, it's just uh, something I do in the beginning. Oh, there's Ramos. Uh, now you can see me uh, taking up the trap. That was on purpose. I, I dodged her Q ability. Uh, Caitlyn is someone who I've played rather frequently. She's an AD carry, and that is, as I said before, mainly what I play. Uh, Naso is continuing to push, but Ramos might be able to get the kill here. I don't think he does, though, because he's only level 2, and he doesn't. He does have 500 HP. So here you can see me. Uh, my strategy here was divide and conquer. Now because I saw Caitlyn retreating, I apply pressure to Evelyn, and then because Ev Evelyn retreated, I apply pressure to Caitlyn, and so I get bits and pieces off of both of them. And here you can see me, and then... It, Caitlyn doesn't come down, and I manage to get the kill off of Evelyn. And then, Caitlyn again misses her Q, uh, which is something that she shouldn't be doing. She should be hitting all of her Qs. Uh, ideally, she'd be hitting every attack, but something that sometimes doesn't happen. Uh, there you can see Nossus again, uh, uh, trying to go for Ramos, and Ramos doing the same, except in reverse. Uh, here, I recall... Uh, I'm not very afraid. Uh, that was a stupid decision on my part. I thought, hey, if I can surprise her and land my Q, then I get another kill. But unfortunately, I die, and that's always a bit of a shame. Uh, I don't die too many times in this match, though, relatively. Uh, now, here you can see Ramos continuing to apply. Not Ramos, I'm terribly sorry about that. Nasus. Applying pressure. Uh, Evelyn's just kind of hanging out there in the back, thinking, I suppose, that she'll go for a gank. Uh, which she ends up doing. Uh, I chase Nasus away, and then we target Evelyn, attack her, and then as Nasus comes back, I finish him off. And then I try and go after Evelyn, and uh, Ramos is doing a very good job and chasing her down, hitting her, and then uh, keeping her at the speed buff while I come up to get revenge, hopefully. I do forget if I kill her. No, I don't think I kill her here. Uh, there, uh, Caitlyn finally lands her Q, and I think accidentally hits the... Oh, did she have her, uh... See, I'm looking at Kateri. Yeah, she has runes for her Ken. I don't know why she rushed for that. Uh, but here you can see me killing Caitlyn. Because Evelyn retreated. Uh, Evelyn did a very bad job of staying with her teammates this game. Uh, and Caitlyn wasn't very good. Nasus was their best player. But I think that might have been because of his health. Uh, I'm calling back in the brush. Uh, while Ramos is down on the bottom feeding. Nasus goes up to pressure top. Uh, or at least not... Pr uh, get rid of some of these minions. Which have been building up. Uh, I really like his AoE. I took out like at least six minions there and that's always helpful but the problem is now it's on cooldown as I go to engage him I try and do a bit of kiting uh, I use my E ability to run away and then I use my W I believe it is to stun him uh, not stun him but cut off his vision of me and to deal a bit of damage here I run away my I idea was to get into the safety of the turret, and then Ramos comes to my aid. I'm very grateful for the heal, and I use my E to just barely, almost escape. And Ramos runs away. Caitlyn is just sitting there. I'm not entirely sure why. Now she's going to go up and pressure with Evelyn while, uh, I keep saying Ramos, but Nasus takes debuffs here. 
Uh, I, at this point, have... Where, where did I go? Hmm. Oh, that's right. I'm respawning. Here I am. Uh, Ramos does do a good job of holding this off, and Nosus isn't really doing much. He's capturing... Well, he has captured both runes. Uh, he got the speed buff, stood on it, and is now running back to, I think, take another buff. I think he's trying to capture that again to lock it. Okay, Nasus not a very good player either, or at least inexperienced in 3v3. Now, we go back up here to see Ramos and I applying pressure up top, j just defending. Uh, there, I did a terrible job of using my ultimate. That was very bad, and I'm ashamed of it. Uh, and for the most part, I do a pretty good job of landing them. And then here again, I see that Evelyn has retreated. And I apply pressure to Caitlyn. Ramos is back at base. I think he's looking for items. And if you're wondering what I built up, I got a Phantom Dancer, Boots of Mobility, Berserker's Greaves. That was actually a mistake on my part. I didn't mean to buy two boots, and I don't normally do that. And I also have a Doran Blade from the beginning of the game. While well, Ramos has a Glacial Shroud for 300 mana and 40 armor, and Boots of Swiftness. N there, Ramos does warn me that Nasus is coming, and I put down my flash to block his vision of me, even though it probably only slowed me down. And then here, Nasus gets off a kill on me. And so it is 9 to 5, myself having 4 deaths and 9 kills, and Ramos having 2 deaths. As you can see, I've been denied the CS, as I should be. I have only 60 compared to 106, uh, 56, and 76. Now, although the sheer number of CS that they have is good, they also needed to get far more kills, because 9 kills, that's 2,700 gold. 3 kills, although that's good, that's 900 gold. And then in addition, uh, I also got 60 CS, and every 10 CS is 300. So, I'd like to say we're about even in gold. Yeah, we are about even in gold. Uh, the CS does come into play here. But I think in skill level, I do much better. Uh, you can see Poppy. She's still accruing gold. Even though she's not even done anything. Uh, Ramos here retreating because even though Nasus has so little health, uh, he's afraid of him. And... Uh, there you can see me picking up the kill, just just tapping with my Q. Caitlyn taking the race, Evelyn applying pressure on bottom. Now Nasus has respawned and he's going down bottom. I think he did have revive on himself. Yes, he did. He did have revive. Uh, and I'll, that would have been great if I hadn't killed him so much. He unfortunately did die quite a bit. Here you can see Ramos taking out Caitlyn while I come in to finish it up using my auto attack to get the last hit. And then I try and get Evelyn, but I think walk into a trap here. But I had seen uh, Nasus there, and so I just run away. There I use my E to just barely die again. Uh, but Nasus is, for whatever reason, continuing to attack the tower and take hits. It is something I find a bit strange. And it definitely reflects the skill level of the players. Uh, and, and in addition to the fact that he has Revive on, I think he's a very low level, perhaps 5 or 6. And has gotten just enough money to be able to purchase this character. Uh, Evelyn, I would say something about the same. Except that she actually has Flash, so she's at least level 12. So I think Evelyn's just bad. And then Caitlyn... Caitlyn's probably a lower level. I'd say 9 or 10. Here you can see me run into Nasus. Uh, I was looking somewhere else at the time, so it took me a bit to attack him first. Uh, and then I do use my heal, and I manage to kill him. And so that's always a plus. Uh, I go back, I recall. And I'm going to buy some more items. At this point, I've gotten a Vampire Acceptor. And so that cost me about 800 gold. And then there you can see Ramos engaging 
Talent, who is not doing a very good job with her auto attacks. She only has a Runin's Hurricane and a, a Pickaxe and a Cloak of Agility. There you can see Ramos and Poppy, who recent who connected a while ago, at killing our opponent. Now I push bottom, and I believe here get overly excited and end up dying to a gank. Okay, she's 2100 HP, that's more than I thought. So as you can see, I'm a bit of a glass cannon. <laughs> uh, I use my E just to not take any chances. Ramos is taking the buffs. Poppy is just sitting there. Not really doing much. And then here you can see me attacking Nosos and dying or coming very close to it once again. I do pop off a flash, uh, but I believe Evelyn has a poison of some sort. Hmm. And it ends up killing me. Now here you can see Poppy just trying to rush through, pushing Nosos into the range of the tower with Evelyn coming in to finish her off. Luckily for Poppy though, she does manage to make it out, and Ramos is just doing a little bit of pressure on bot, just keeping them off the tower. Caitlyn is farming up top. Uh, when it comes to CS, everyone on their team is doing better than me, and Ramos is quickly catching up to me. Uh, Poppy, there, just got our first three, uh, and I have a 2.0 KD, which I think is pretty awesome considering I was... 3v1. Now, what we see here is Poppy at level 6 engaging Caitlyn. And then, there I pick up the kill with my ultimate, run back, use my Q, fall back, use my W, use an E to escape, and I believe I run away, and then I come back and use my Q. Uh, Ramos there did make a comment about how I kill st kill stole, and uh, well, it wasn't really a kill steal, but uh, I can see his point why he would think it was a kill steal. Poppy just sitting there, not entirely sure what she's doing. Uh, I go to put some pressure on bot lane, uh, Ramos comes with me, as well as Poppy, who is now moving. And, at this point, I'm going to cut it in half, and I will see you next time. Uh, to, uh, click the annotation on the top right for part two, and I'll see you there.